I mean, it's a, it's a tremendous movie for so many reasons. I mean, for you as a filmmaker, what was the lure of the story of these two men and, and kind of the history that, that surrounds them? Yeah, well, I was interested in making the film because I'm a big fan of Pope Francis because he sees the world like I think he needs to be seen, like just one planet that we have to share and not create our walls and he's against nationalism and all this wave that is really making the world this odd place. So that's, that's the reason for which I, I got in the film. But the film there's, uh, has a lots of levels that I like. It talks about tolerance. These two men that are put together and they, they really disagree with everything that the other one uh, thinks and they have to find a common ground. And, and so talking and talking and they finally understand each other, even not agreeing with each other, they, they become friends. And, and so there's a very beautiful personal story as well. Yeah, and it's also something I was saying to An uh, Andrew just now about how those messages about what these two men did and agreed on and disagreed but come to a common ground. A lot of people in the world right now could could take a lot of lessons from it, couldn't they? Yeah, nowadays we really we really hate people with whom we disagree with. Because one thing is disagreeing, the other one is hating, and now what we do is hating the other one. And, and, and that's exactly the situation we have in the film. There's two guys that they really, they have everything to hate each other, but they find this, 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 this bridge, and, uh, and I like this, this concept. And, and the film is also about, uh, there's a spiritual side in the film, because mm -hmm. they talk about how to connect with, with something bigger than us, and, uh, and I think it's, it's not for Catholics, because this, I mean, any religion, you're, you're trying to connect to something bigger, and, uh, and the film talks about this, the dark night of the soul, the moment when you lose connection completely, and you have to find out how to, to connect again. So I think it can touch people in different levels. Yeah. And one for you, I mean, uh, you're playing the younger version of, of uh, Jonathan Price, and he obviously was a bit of an internet sensation with his photo that his kids showed him when they were kind of, <laughs> of together. Was this, was this for you as an actor that you, you brought your own sensibilities to your part of the story rather than trying to mimic or imitate Jonathan, or was it kind of a bit of both? No, 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 no. It was t uh, not imitation uh, uh, because, um, I mean, it wasn't very. Uh, Fernando didn't want to to go that way, and uh, and I also agreed with him because uh, the the character changed so much. Bergoglio, it's it's. I mean, if you, if you if you knew Bergoglio, if, uh, me as a, as an Argentinian, I knew very well Bergoglio. So we were very surprised when we saw uh, uh, Pope Francis with with smiling and the jokings and and all that stuff. So so it was really like two different persons and uh, and of course as as always I put my own sensibility and my own history in that in that character I I had to research in in the like in the religion thing because I don't have a background my myself of that and it's a very I mean you, you have to connect with something as Fernando just said uh, it, you have to find something that it's bigger and if you don't have that in your like in your background you have to well you have to work in that yeah and the, i mean these two these two men anthony and jonathan you know that very much like the popes themselves they are cut from the same cloth but also you know very very different in their approaches and everything else what was it like working with with, with both i mean obviously you didn't get to work with them but having them as part of the film and bringing their kind of caliber if you like to to the to the film yeah, it's, it's a brilliant challenge and and they work in a very different way at least uh, as far as I understood. Uh, Tony is very technical, so six months before we start shooting, he wrote us asking, not as asking, <laughs> demanding that we, we, we didn't change this a single line in the script. He said, I'm starting to work on, this, on the lines, so please don't change a word, which is very difficult because we keep changing till the day we're, we're shooting, because he memorized his line and he works, uh, I mean, line by line, and. And, and Jonathan is different. I mean, he tried to understand how, how the Pope Francis uh, feels, how he walks, how he... So he got the feeling. E every new line that I would give him on the day, he would just say it like, like Pope Francis. Not that uh, uh, Tony couldn't do it, but it's very different. One is very technical and the other one is very loose and like jazz and, and classical music. You know, one go for the part and the other one just improvise. And, and I didn't know how... the two would work together, but then they connect in a way, and I was very lucky for that. They, they had a chemistry, and they really liked each other, and they became friends. They would go out for dinner and make jokes with each other, and, and 
So the connection that they had in the hotel, for some reason, is in the film. And you feel that they connect. And yeah. that's the beauty of the film. There's a warmth between them. Yeah. What was it like for you when you saw those two guys kind of together? Because they have some moments where it's just them two talking in a, in a room. And it's just as riveting as if you're watching a big kind of war movie or a superhero movie, that the connection between the two guys is just... Incredible. Oh, yeah. Well, I saw the film just for the first time a couple of weeks ago okay. in, in Toronto. And I was completely in shock because, uh, I mean, of course, they, they are, both of them, I, I admired their work for so many years because uh, they are f great and fantastic actors. So it's, uh, it's not very common to see a film where you can see these two great actors acting and in a movie which is very, with a lot of humor and very dynamic and very, I mean, it's not just two guys talking like a theatric, like theater movie. And, uh, and of course, I feel so, so happy to be, to be in the same movie with these two great actors. Yeah. Uh, just finally, I wanted to ask you both about the kind of the Netflix versus cinema experience. And now Netflix are kind of expanding their window for people to go and see it in the cinema. I mean, do you think it's, um, I'd say a good thing, but a positive thing that people can, can consume these films in different ways, that they, whether they want to go to the cinema, whether they want to watch it at home? And the fact that Netflix are able to produce movies like these that maybe wouldn't wouldn't get made otherwise. No, of course. I mean, and, and this is not a matter of uh, liking or not. That's how it's going to be. Mm. I mean, the films will be produced for by, by platforms. I mean, the the more, most experimental films and oh, most of the films in, in the future. That's the new format. And uh, and Netflix is finding a good balance between uh, theater and platform. So the film, this film, will have three weeks in the theater and then goes to the platform, but still in the theater. While it, it's performing, it keep going. I mean, Rome stayed like, Roma stayed like eight, or no, it's still playing 20 theaters around the world, and is in the platform for one year now. So I think this is the new format. Like, I like it, but like it or not, that's how it's gonna be. There's no, there's, there's no question here, you yeah. know? Just accept it, embrace it, because that's what it is. Fantastic. Absolute pleasure talking to you both. Thanks so much Thank for you. your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!